Hello everybody, welcome back to Move with Rissa. I have a quick energizing flow for you, so let's get started. We will start in a um, all fours position, so hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And really breathe deeper here. Grip the mat with your fingertips. And really close your eyes and hone in on what is touching the ground. Grounding through the hands, through the knees, through the feet, maybe pulling the navel in a little bit. And just notice what it feels like to be this connected to the ground. Start to let go of your day thus far. Breathe deeply. Let go of any thoughts about the day upcoming. Great, and then we are gonna take a few cat cows here. So inhale, lift the chin, lift the tailbone up to the sky. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. And do a couple more at your own pace, inhaling slowly, exhaling slowly, noticing how you move here. I'm sorry, my cat is trying to uh, get in. Great. And then we're going to walk the hands forward a little bit, come down to your stomach, keep your palms on the floor, cobra, keep the chin tucked a little bit so you're not crunching through the neck, and then exhale, push back to your child's pose. Inhale, come through, cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, Cobra. This time, lift the right leg up off the mat. Look towards the foot. Bring it back down. Exhale, Child's Pose. One more like that. Inhale, Cobra. Lift the left foot off the mat. Look at it. Bring it back down. Child's Pose. Inhale, come back to your tabletop and then Tuck the toes, press the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Maybe pedaling out the feet, upper arm bones rotate out. And then try to think of the inner thighs rotating up towards the sky. Great, inhale, look to the top of your mat, I'll meet you at the top for a forward fold. Your feet can be together or hip width distance. Relax the neck. Inhale, hands come to the shins or the thighs, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach for the sky. Slight optional back bend and exhale, rain it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step the foot back to plank. Maybe step the non dominant foot back first this time. And then gradually on your exhale, lower yourself down to your stomach. Inhale, press up for cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Breathe here, notice how you feel. Lift the right leg up to the sky on your inhale. Exhale, bring it through knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, take the right knee over to the left wrist. 
Inhale back up. Take the right knee over to the right wrist. Last time, inhale back up. Exhale, plant the foot in between your hands. Lower the back knee down. And we'll come to our low lunge here. You can stay here or option to find a gentle back bend. Inhale, maybe wiggle the fingers. Exhale, plant the hands, untuck the toes. I mean, sorry, tuck the toes. And then we'll step it back for plank. Great, bring the right leg up and then in to your chest. So little baby mountain climbers up and then in. One more each side. Up to the sky, into the chest, and then slowly lower down. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Child's Pose or Downward Facing Dog. Great, then we'll all meet in Downward Facing Dog. Lift the left leg up, inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up, exhale, left knee comes to right wrist. Inhale, re-extend, exhale, left knee comes to left wrist. Inhale, back up. Last time, plant that foot in between the hands, drop through the right knee, we're here in our low lunge. Great. Option to stay here or lift the arms up to the sky, optional back bend. Exhale, plant the hands, tuck the right toes, step it back for plank. We'll hold here. Great, on your exhale, lower to your belly. Inhale for Cobra. Exhale, lower back down. Tuck the toes, press up for plank. Shift it back to downward facing dog. Great, plant the knees on the mat. And then we're going to come into a camel pose. So you're going to tuck the toes and then place your hands on your lower back, like where, imagine where your jean pockets would sit. That's where you want your hands. Shoulders draw back. So shoulder blades draw together. And then gently, We'll start to look back, engage through the glutes, and see if you can look at the wall behind you. If, if this feels okay today, then stay here. If you'd like to go deeper, bring your hands to your heels, and then reestablish the engagement and breathe. Great. Hands come back to the lower back and release. We'll come to our backs. Knees draw into the chest, rock side to side. This will feel good after a big back bend. Great, plant the feet, plant the palms, tuck the tailbone and come up for a bridge pose. Exhale, lower down, inhale, back up. And this time you can stay in this bridge pose or if wheel is in your practice, I do invite you to 
come into that shape. And if you are doing wheel, the hands will come to the ears, plant the feet, press your hips up to bridge, and then press into the palms to come into your wheel pose. Press through the feet. And have some fun with it. Great, then we'll all lower back down. Bring the knees to the chest once more, rocking side to side. And then flexing the feet, grab the outsides of the feet. Or if your hips are tight, you can grab your, um, well, behind the knees. We'll come into your version of Happy Baby. Breathing deeply, feel the stomach move in between the thighs. And then we will release. And your feet, you have two options here. You can bring them together to touch, come in, coming into a butterfly, or you can extend them out long for a traditional savasana. Hands come to the sides, or sometimes it's comforting to place them on your stomach. Take deep breaths, relax through the brows, and try to surrender to the moment just one time today. Give yourself this moment of peace so that you can feel recharged throughout your day. Maybe start to wiggle through the toes and the fingertips, swallowing a couple times. Maybe scrunch your nose, blink your eyes, and we will all meet in a seat. Draw the hands into your heart. If you do have time for a meditation or a longer savasana, I do invite you to do that, that is amazing. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Rissa. The light in me sees, honors, and loves the light that's inside of you. Thank you again, namaste.